Paseo Verde is a 120-unit mixed-income rental apartment community. The project also includes 30,000 square feet of retail and community service space. Located next to SEPTA's Regional Rail Temple University Station, the busiest station outside of Center City, the building site was once a block of asphalt parking. The site was also the dividing line between eastern North Philadelphia and Temple University. There had long been a need for a mixed-use project to bridge the two. Walking and looking at the site day after day and saying, what a dismal, distressful barrier between our community and Temple. Close that, that open wound that was this empty parking lot that really stood behind uh, people really being able to access transit and to really turn this into a transit development community. The project was a joint effort between APM, the nonprofit community organization, and a private developer, Jonathan Rose Companies. Jonathan Rose was a really uh, good fit for us as a partner because he knew to work with nonprofits and understood the work and has a real passion for the greening. And, and we, we understood Philadelphia and, and were the big drivers of this. Paseo Verde provides high-quality, sustainable housing for Philadelphia residents. The project emphasizes a healthy lifestyle by promoting open space, walkability, and easy access to public transportation. To engage the community, APM turned to residents for feedback. We always start with asking the community um, in the planning stage, what, what do you see that this neighborhood needs and what, what would make it better? People in the neighborhood identified several areas, including health, walkability, the physical condition of the area, crime and safety, education, arts and culture. Paseo Verde's design manages to address each. It, it's been transformative and, and it's transforming this neighborhood. One of the most notable characteristics of the development is the transit-oriented design. But the idea of connecting the community to jobs out in the suburbs and, and also looking at the Latinos that are out in the suburbs, which are growing, how do, how do we get them to come in and also take advantage of some of the services that we have? When you ask what it did for the community, it made them feel like they were now a part. They didn't have to be in love with Temple, but that they could now maybe cross over and go to the library and access some of the programs at Temple University. Residents benefit from low-cost health care services provided on-site by Public Health Management Corporation. Connecting health into the project was so essential. Then getting a pharmacy, then the social service component, the community room. Uh, when it started to all flush out, uh, you could see that this would be transformative. Instead of going to the emergency room, possibly you can, you can go to a facility in your building um, and then have a prescription filled immediately is, um, is, is, is crucial. Paseo Verde's sustainable design ensures improved indoor air quality and a reduction in water and energy use. The project was built using local, recyclable, and renewable materials. The project achieved LEED Platinum, for both homes, low-rise and mid-rise, and neighborhood development. It is the first lead neighborhood development project in the country to achieve a platinum rating. Residential units are designed for maximum energy efficiency with Energy Star lighting and appliances, along with programmable thermostats in each unit. Water efficiency is another element that contributes to the project's green design. All of the roofing areas are blue roof. It means that the building is designed to hold and retain water on the roofs and then only release it in time. The housing units are targeted to a range of incomes and priced accordingly. There are 53 affordable units and 67 workforce housing units. At Paseo Verde you can see someone renting a one-bedroom for $220. Um, in the same building someone's renting a one-bedroom for $1,200. Statistics have shown that if you put too many poor people all in one, it just doesn't work. You don't have to live next to a CEO or the executives of a company, but if you have a police officer living next to a family, the children get together and when they're graduating, they'll ask, well, if they don't want to go to college, how do I become a police officer? And they can walk them through that. The project was not without roadblocks. It required creative financing from 22 financing sources. At any given stage of planning, there were several moving parts. While proximity to transportation was a bonus, it was also a potential pitfall. But when you have an active rail line next door, that generates a lot of noise. It, it was also a moving target in the sense that the balance between the number of affordable units and market rate units kept changing. And in the end, it really had to fit into the neighborhood. Everyone, wow, this went up fast. But like all successful things, people don't realize it takes time 
And when you see the end result, you think, oh, it just happened yesterday. But it was a planning process of about 10 years. It's become like a national model saying, if you can do it in a low income community, you can do it anywhere. So it set a standard for Philadelphia. And possibly everywhere.